Hi, this is Kira from Creative Photography Classes or Shooting Magic with Kira and Cheryl. Today I'm going to quickly show you how to use our Shima, Shima and Glitter actions, magic actions, that can give you the opportunity. Okay. First of all, uh, I just wanted to let you know Shima and Glitter will have three different groups inside. You will have Glitter Dust in different colors like gold, silver, bronze, pink, purple, blue, green, and with different strength from light to heavy. You will have Heavenly Dust Glow, which is my favorite in this pack. And again, you will have light, medium and heavy for, uh, for the silver, for the gold, for the bronze. And then you will have Starlight Dust, again, with different strength and uh, for, different, uh, for different colors. Okay, so uh, let me just show how they work. They're very simple to use. Uh, let's, for example, pick, uh, pick this uh, photo. You can see I've got autumn leaves, so I was immediately thinking maybe I can just use uh, a little bit of gold additions. So if I go with my glitter dust, I might pick light or heavy, depending on the effect I want. I might mix them together, uh, so you can uh, run first actions for light, then run heavy and just have some of uh, some of each actions. Uh, let me just show you uh, light action. So glitter does gold light. We click run. Okay. okay, and the action run and if you go to your layers you will see it uh, put the, your action glitter does gold on a separate layer. Okay, and also it picked for you the white brush. So brush is here white with basically all of our actions with maybe a couple of exceptions you just need to remember the white here okay that will introduce effect of the action and if you want to take effect away you need to use black also for every brush you can change opacity and flow to have to increase or decrease the effect and also you can change opacity and flow here for the whole whole effect okay let me just show how it works so we've got now opacity 100 percent flow 100 percent and we'll just just introduce a little bit of gold dust okay so Maybe that would be the gold gas that was be dust be um, with the leaves. Okay, if I want to introduce a little less effect here, I will then drop opacity of my brush and do just a little bit there. If I want to take away some of the effect, let's say I didn't want it that heavy, I can just put that on the black brush and take effect in some areas, let's say I didn't want it, maybe if I uh, put it over their faces or somewhere else, which I don't want. Or if I want to create that it goes from a particular spot, I can just take effect okay, from some areas. And then, okay, I can also decrease opacity here, and it decreases the opacity of, of the overall layer. Okay, I'm apologizing, uh, the software running very slow, okay, so bear with me. Okay, let's just get rid of that, uh, that layer, okay, and run another action. Okay, let's say I want to have um, dust. Okay, the action run, and it put, put it on separate layer, you can see glitter dust, gold, heavy okay so when it stops running then again we need to grab white brush okay it should go automatically on the white brush in case it's not so for now i will ignore the help you will read it at home so just click continue so on white brush i can then introduce some of the effects sorry i had opacity on low so i can put 100 so you can see opacity 100 and i can have much brighter okay and heavier effect okay so this is glitter dust gold 
heavy again same uh, same deal you can take some away with the black brush decrease increase opacity here like that like so another little thing that you sometimes can try here you can see it's automatically picked screen mode sometimes for some effect if you want you can try it on the mode below which is color dodge right and it will give you a brighter uh, goldier effect okay so you can see it now okay so I will delete this layer and I'll show you another action let's speak now one of my favorites here okay we have heavenly dust uh, let's just go for heavy straight away let's say heavenly dust glow okay um, these uh, actions are much more complicated this group of actions uh, heavenly dust because we put a lot of effort in creating uh, but they will give you a different sorts of effects in one action you will see that so please bear with your software because this actions will run a bit slower you need the patience just to wait uh, till the action stops running okay so then you click continue of course you can read it at home it's just a reminder how to use the action you can continue and check checking your layer you can see now that action put a folder okay on uh, on a separate layer instead of just an action and you can open that folder okay you can see there are a couple of uh, different things here okay and now let's just show you what this action can do so this is heavenly dust glow so if I create this one this is a very magical effect so not only it has this little specks right? it also has that beautiful glow and uh, let's say I want to create it like falling from this angle okay which is actually wrong I should have done it from here okay so if let me just go a step back okay because the light is coming from this side so if I want to be consistent I should probably create it like the light is coming from inside here okay so you can see it has beautiful glow now if I want a little bit less effect uh, here I'll drop opacity and brush just a bit here okay now what I can do uh, have a look here so I have little specks of light but also the blurry effects of glow so what I can do here right uh, when you open your folder you can actually deselect and select different layers to see the effect if you like it let's say I want to disable this one okay click on that and you can see it's only specs left it's very rare that you would use this one deselected what you can do is actually deselect the second one okay the second the lowest layer so have a look and what it will do it will get rid of the speckles but it will leave the beautiful glow have a look and you can see now we have the glow okay which I can show before and after so if I was not to use the action and now with action okay you can see so it has the glow you can also what you can also do you can click back both right so you can have the specs and the glow but each one you need to select of course the one you're working on right each each one you can then decrease opacity let's say you want just a little bit of specs um, and much more glow okay so if you pick the low one and decrease opacity you can see still a little bit of specs left right but the glow is full on 
and you can do it for both of them close the folder and you can decrease or increase the effect of the whole whole folder again I apologize software running very slow okay so you can say I can decrease increase effect and remember also that I can okay I can take away effects when I was applying it with a brush black or white brush just make sure that if you want to do it now again after all the manipulations make sure to select this mask first then you will see you have a choice of white and black and if you pick black again with a bigger brush or smaller brush depends what size you want you can take some effect away Okay, let's now try another action. It doesn't mean that you have you have had uh, gold colors. You can only go with the gold. You, I would try different things, and sometimes you have the beautiful uh, folds of lights, and you might want to use silver. Okay, so okay, then we click continue. Okay, we have again here the separate folder. Uh, sorry, the folder on the separate layer. Okay, and we can see that we have two options here as well. So I'll put it on 100 opacity first. And this is our silver glow. Oh, beautiful. It's like a snow in the middle of summer. Or, sorry, autumn. <laughs> okay. uh, again, I can pick the black brush and take away some effect so change opacity um, to the lower number and take away effect from some areas if I feel it's too strong like that maybe I didn't want it on the face okay same thing as I showed you before you can pick uh, if you want just uh, the glow without speckles so you can just disable this layer you can see just beautiful glow okay another thing you can do so uh, so let me just take let's say I wanted to create sort of raw of light yeah like that like so it's just coming on to them sorry yeah like the light from the heaven <laughs> so what I want to do maybe I want to increase effect in some areas the quickest way to do it instead of run action again right click on the folder and duplicate group and just watch it okay and you will see the effect okay will be increased sort of like double strength you can see it so it's much stronger effect now what you can do for example you have one effect here which has both uh, speckles and glow but in your second one for example you want only uh, only glow okay so to give you variety like it's like a snowstorm or something like that okay so you can have that and again you can do exactly the same thing you can increase decrease the strength that you just deployed or increase or decrease the strength in particular spots okay so that gives you quite a beautiful uh, effect let's just try it on the different image just to show how we can for example create effect let's say we have a very different image here okay, different colors it's blue sky and you can create all sorts of uh, effects of the uh, weather condition or glow whatever so let's try again here actions uh, heavy heavy dust just click continue so you will read it at home and let's just introduce that on the full opacity sorry well actually okay so I've got 50 opacity around here so I have just a little bit around them somewhere and then maybe stronger effect and I'll put it on 100 opacity right above them always try to create different 
different strokes with different opacity to have more realistic effect so you can see now on 100 I'm just going right through create that sort of beautiful glow effect same thing here we can go into the folder right and we have uh, we can create decrease the uh, specs and just leave the glow and you can see very different effect isn't it or we come back with our specs and we can let's say choose it choose the low one here and drop opacity of specs for example or just with a brush again um, delete uh, delete some but the easiest for you to remember just drop drop the opacity here okay or of the specs now another thing i want to show you so come back always when you want to uh, to do something with the whole effect don't forget come back to the first layer here of the folder or even close the folder okay if you get easily confused uh, just leave the folder alone don't open it just okay increase decrease the whole effect or apply the white and black brush on the whole effect but i want to show you something else which is quite unique like for example when you have the blue sky uh, one of the most interesting effects you can create if you instead of screen this time you can pick overlay and just watch what happens look at that you can create an amazing <laughs> effect and sort of dark and night sky again i'm picking brush here white brush and i'll just just to show you overall effect I'll just brush it all over the image look at that <laughs> of course that's exaggerated it's too much but you can decrease the opacity or you take effects with the black brush remember away somewhere okay let's decrease opacity definitely off them because you don't want them to be too black So you can do something, you can do a million of interesting things like that. And remember, if you really want to try something else, you can then try to, without specs and just with the glow effects, also will give you beautiful, interesting effects like that. You can see, you can create like that, uh, you know, snowstorm if you want to. Okay, well, that's what I wanted to show you. Thank you very much for watching it. Bye-bye.